What's up, guys? Uh, I just got to my uh, pro wrestling crate box in the mail for month of July, and uh, I'm about to go through with it with you guys. See what's in it. I haven't purchased one yet. This is the first one I've got, so I'm, uh, I'm excited to see what's in here. So uh, here's what's everything that's in it. It tells you what's on the back, but I'm not I'm not looking at that. I wanna be surprised. All right, so okay. Well, next next month, August, we got John Moxley, the Nasty Boys, Brian Myers, Lex Luger, Lanny Pofo, Brutus Beefcake, and a special critical botch item featuring Colt Cabana, Orange Cassidy. Brandon Cutler and more. Oh, there you go. You guys want to purchase the August box? It's only about like, what, $37, $40? There's the first one. Let's see what's on here. Oh, that's cool. A little bit of Latino heat. Oh, that's badass, for real. And usually when people get these shirts, they say they don't like them or they're not their style or nothing, but I've yet to see one that I personally wouldn't wear myself. Like, everybody like didn't like that uh, Medusa shirt. I thought it was, I thought it was good. But yeah, that's sweet. I'd definitely be rocking this. Yeah, that's sweet. Put this to the side. All right, let's see what's else in here. What's this? Brawler balls. Hawk and animal at Road Warrior. Oh, that's cool. It's like a... Some type of stress ball or something. You got it. Look at that. Hit the mohawk. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, she's. That's cool. A little ball with the hawk, uh, road warriors, hawking animal. And personally, I'm a. Uh, I'm a little bit, uh, I didn't say too young, but I didn't really catch the Road Warriors when they were in their prime. I was, I'm more, uh, more familiar with their 98 run, 97 run, 98, when they came back to WWF, but I always have respect for them. I know they're one of the greatest ever. That yeah, was always my favorite to me when I was a little kid before I even knew who, uh, before I really knew who they was. I used to just like them because they came out with football pads with the spikes. That really drew me in. <laughs> but yeah, that ball is cool. And if you see any of this stuff, I'm sure you can uh I'm sure you can purchase stuff on eBay. I'm sure everybody has maybe something from the box on their eBay account. And here's the pen for the month. Oh, we've got Vader, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Vader with the can't really see it quite well. Alright, here we go. Later with the mask. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to wear this or not, but it's actually double pinned, it looks like. It looks like it has, <clears throat> has Vader and then it has another pin with the helmet. You see, it kind of looks double pinned. All right, well, there's three things out the box so far. We got a shirt, we got the ball, and we got the pen. Not mad yet, not mad so far. All right, let's see, we got a micro ball brawler. Who's this? Flying Brian Pillman. Ain't that cool, huh? 
Divine Brian. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And I'm not really a micro brawler type of guy. I don't know. People go crazy for these, I know, but not really. Not really crazy about these. Now, if they had like the Undertaker or something, you know what I mean? I might, you know what I mean? But it is cool. I know last month was uh, Bully Ray. I would probably rather have Bully Ray than this, honestly, but. You know, this is, this is this is pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure this is the senior, right? Flying Brian the senior? Brian Pillman? Because I don't think they call his son Flying, right? I don't know. Not too sure about that either. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll probably put that one up on eBay or something. Okay, well, let's see what else we got in here. Say to take the DVD. I'll see what this is. Gone but not forgotten. The ladies of wrestling. That's pretty cool. On this special DVD, we dive into the hot spots, the high spots vault of shoot interviews, and relive some of the biggest moments of the greatest female performers in history. Sit back and listen as these amazing women give you the details on their legendary careers. Okay, we got the Fabulous Moolah and Mae Young. We got Sherry Martell. We got China. And we got Luna. What do you got, Luna Vachon? Hmm. It's a pretty cool DVD. Check that out. Uh, let's see what else we got. Take out the shirt out. What's this shirt? Oh, uh, oh shit. Bruiser Brody. I just started checking in on him about a month or two ago. I was not familiar with much much of his work at all. I know he wrestled back back in the seventies uh, and eighties from not wrong, not mistaken. This is pretty cool though. Like I said, I'm not too uh too familiar on him so I don't know. Maybe after I look into him I'll uh after I look into him some more I'll uh I'll grow more fond of this shirt, but it's not a bad shirt. It's just I don't really, I don't really know much about the man. All respect, all respect though. Always, always, all respect. So, so far we got the Bruiser Brody shirt. We have the Eddie Guerrero Latino Heat shirt. We have the Gone But Not Forgotten DVD of the Females of Wrestling. Legends, Legend Females of Wrestling. We have a Vader double pin. Let's see, he's been, that's two things. Double pin. We have Red Warriors and Hawk. I don't even know what type of, just called a Brawler Ball. Brawler Ball. We have the uh, Flying Brian Pillman Micro Brawler. And what else we have here? We got a sticker. What kind of sticker is this? Oh, that's cool. Harley Race. Badass Harley Race. Now, again, this is kind of before I was knees deep into the wrestling so I don't know everything about him but I know a good little bit my dad used to used to put me on to him back in the day 
Always heard he was a tough son of a bitch. Definitely not somebody you'd want to piss off or get on their bad side. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I'll probably put this somewhere right now. And the last thing we got, the autograph. Shit, a new Jack autograph. Ain't that cool? Look at that. The legend himself, R.I.P. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Nah, he got a he. But he got a uh, football sign. And then see Super Bowl. Oh yeah, he was uh I would not want to have a match with him, I'll tell you that. I would not want to have a match with him, that's for damn sure. So yeah. It's probably the uh my favorite item out this box probably. Yeah. This Eddie Guerrero shirt. Or probably the ball, honestly. The brawler ball, it's, uh, it's pretty neat. I ain't never seen nothing like that. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's the uh, the box for the month of July. Well worth it. I'm sh well worth it. I'm sure everybody agrees. Um, yeah, so if you haven't yet, make sure you... Uh, Subscribe to the Pro Wrestling Crate. Every month there is a new theme to the box. Like I said, next month is John Moxley, Nasty Boys, Brian Myers, Lex Luger, Lanny Pofo, Brutus of Beefcake, and then a special critical botch item featuring Cole Caban, Orange Cassidy, Brandon Cutler, more that one's sounds pretty cool and even if you don't want to do the full regular crate that box the regular crate box is 29.95 and they also have different variations they have a cheap heat box which is 9.95 a mid card box which is 14.95 and a tag team box which is 17.95 they all come with basically the same stuff except, you know what I mean, the cheaper the box, the less, the least you will get of the things. But yeah, there's the spoilers on the back. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with my, uh, with my box this month. I'll probably, depending on how this video does, I'll probably make more videos unboxing them. Well, let me know what you guys think. Thanks. Peace.